Welcome to vSphere Quick Bytes, testing the vSphere namespace with kubectl. After downloading the Kubernetes CLI tools and adding them to our path, we're going to connect to the supervisor cluster, providing our username and password using the DevOps account we created earlier. Here you'll see the namespaces that we have access to. We're now going to use the DevOps namespace that we created. And following the instructions in the quick start guide demo section on GitHub, we're just going to copy and paste these commands in and create a TKG cluster. You'll see here that we've copied in the kubectl apply command and giving it the tkc.yaml file that's out on GitHub. And so now we've created the TKG cluster and we're going to check it out within the host and clusters view. There's the DevOps namespace. And then there's TKC-1. Monitoring the tasks, you'll see the deployment of the OVAs to create the virtual machines that comprise the TKG cluster. Using the next command in the list from the demo page, we're going to do a describe on the TKG cluster. So kubectl describe TKC, and that will give us more information about the cluster that we are creating and the status. You'll see here that the control plane VM has been deployed. We can look at that. Now we're going to go back and do another describe. And you'll see the node status of the different worker nodes that are now being created. So the vSphere admin can monitor the rollout of a TKG cluster from the vSphere client. And the DevOps person can monitor it using the describe command for kubectl. Now, in order to make the next command work, we're going to create a couple of variables. The SCIP, we're going to point that at the supervisor cluster, and the namespace. We're going to export those, copy and paste, so that we can log into the TKG cluster itself. Now, we're going to do a use context on TKC1. And the next step is to create an allow all pod security policy. Obviously not something done in production, but for the purposes of this quick start, it should work fine. This has now created that policy. And now we can deploy a workload, which will be a BusyBox shell. And now we have shell access running within the pod of a TKG cluster running on top of vSphere with Tanzu. And just to show that we're live, we're going to do a trace route to google.com. For more information on getting the vSphere with Tanzu quick start guide and the vSphere with Tanzu demo page that I showed, check out these links.